Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again with an interesting experiment for you today. Sitting on the desk in front of me is a glass of ordinary tap water and I want to explore the divided opinion if water is actually a good conductor of electricity or not. I will preface this with saying that this will be done at low DC voltages and not at mains AC potential as this can be lethal. Do not mess with AC mains and water at home. Historically, we know that you can be electrocuted in a bathtub with, say, a hairdryer that's plugged in and accidentally falls into the bathtub where you're sitting. Most houses have a ground stake outside with a thick wire coming from the switch box. And, as the water pipes are also in the ground, contacting the taps and a live wire can kill you. But how good of a conductor is water? Well, let's find out. Right, so I've got a simple circuit on the breadboard here. Ignore all this stuff up here. It's just a 1K resistor and an LED. And currently I'm pumping about 5 volts through the circuit. Now, the power supply is directly connected to the breadboard. So now we need to take one of these leads, probably the positive, and we'll run it through one side of the glass, and then we'll run another wire from the other side of the glass back out to the circuit. All right, so there's absolutely no camera tricks or visual trickery here. It's going to rest that hopefully on the glass and it stays there. Uh, might actually put a weight on it. And I've lost my wire. Well, that was a complete fail. Let me try again. I honestly think there's not enough water in there. Well, yeah, that'll do. Grab the other one. The LED is not as bright as before, but it is definitely illuminating. So, it doesn't really matter where or how close to the positive source coming in that I put this it is conducting electricity. See how that is actually glowing? It's probably about a third of its uh, original brightness. But yes, as this simple little experiment proves, water can conduct electricity. Now, at five volts going through the water, what I want to know now is how much current is actually coming through the circuit. With the multimeter set to milliamp range and connected in series with the circuit, around about 2 to 3 MA. Mm. Okay. Now obviously this LED is going to start glowing brighter when we increase the voltage, as we can clearly see. I'm now at the full maximum of the supply, which is 15.6 volts, with a current draw of 54 MA. That's quite significant through just normal tap water. However, normal tap water, well, especially in Australia, is probably a little bit more conductive because of all the impurities and stuff that's in the water, like chlorine and the stuff they use to clean it. I've also heard that, just turn the voltage back down, that salt water is a much better conductor of electricity than just normal water. So, I need to find some salt. Well, we've increased our current um, consumption from around 3 milliamps now to 7 milliamps. So yes, the salt makes the water much more conductive. I'm not sure by what order of magnitude, but it is proving that, well science doesn't lie for a start, that yes, we already know that salt water conducts uh, electricity better because it's more dense. So I'll just give this water a bit of a stir to mix the salt a bit better. Whoa. As I'm mixing it, the current's shooting right up. Well, it's not really that significant, but yeah. Can, if you do the math, and you imagine this was AC voltage at mains potential at around 50 milliamps of current without any form of RCD or earth leakage protector circuit. Um, yeah. 
that amount of current at that voltage can kill you. So let this be a lesson to everybody that uh, don't believe everything you read on the internet where it says that water is not a good conductor of electricity. <laughs> it most certainly is, but it also relies on the fact of how clean the water is and what impurities are in it as to whether or not it's a better conductor or a worse conductor. But at full voltage we're up to 1 MA of current. Now I'm, I misread the meter before, we we're actually at, you know, hundreds of um, a milliamps, so we're in microamps. However, the point still stands that water will conduct electricity and the LED at 5 volts will glow quite brightly. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video exploring that little experimentation with water. Do not try using mains AC voltage and repeat the experiment at home. Um, if you do so, it's your own, it's your own risk because as I said, mains potential AC and water is a lethal mix and we've known this for you know, ever since electricity has been around for, that is electricity in the home has been around for. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. If you enjoyed it, please remember to go down below, rate, comment, subscribe and don't drink the experiment. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya, have a great day, especially after you put salt in it, it'll make you very sick.